psychological knowledge, theism, atheism, and agnosticism. When we are talking about religion or theological knowledge, we are talking about faith. In this way, there are three different positions. Agnostic, theist, and atheist. The agnosticism is a simple understanding. Etymologically, agnostic from Greek, a meaning without, and gnosis meaning knowledge, without knowledge. Then the supernatural is unknown or unknowable or not knowable. Agnostic is one who considers supernatural phenomena inaccessible to human understanding. The agnostics are followers of agnosticism, which consider it useless to discuss metaphysical themes, since there are realities not attainable through knowledge. The agnostic does not deny the existence of God, because from then his own rationality inaccessible baseline. It can sound unfamiliar, but there are Theist agnostic and atheist agnostic. Stop, stop. What is theism? And what is atheism? Okay, Peter. Theism, etymologically, from Greek, tells, which means God. Theism is the philosophical concept that defends the existence of gods, these superior divine entities that would have been responsible for the creations of the universe and all the things that exist in it. Atheism etymologic from Greek, a meaning without and tell, which means God. Without God, atheism represents the categorical denial of the existence of divinities and supernatural entities, that is, the presence of God or other gods in the universe. Atheism is the opposite concept of theism. Both are based on personal or cultural beliefs because it can be proven through observations, experimentations. It is theological knowledge, not scientific knowledge. Could you talk more about theism and atheism? Yes, I could, Lilibet, but I'd like to talk more about some beliefs as Richard Dawkins. But he is an atheist and he isn't a believer. I don't think so, Lilibet. For Richard Dawkins, the distance between the agnostic and the atheist depends on how close to zero a person is willing to evaluate the probability of the existence of any divine entity. For him, the existence or not of God is a scientific question. Either God exists or does not exist. It's a kind of misunderstanding. Dawkins affirms in his book, The God Disillusion, I am agnostic only to the extent that I am agnostic about fairs at the bottom of the garden. In the same way, the existence or not of fairies would be a scientific question. Of course not. It sounds crazy. Yes, Peter. Then we can conclude that the existence or not of God isn't a scientific question, because it is a religion knowledge. The question has a binary answer, yes or not zero or one, it doesn't become the question in a scientific knowledge. We can do experience to prove this kind of questions. The science has a knowledge boundary. It isn't science, it is so simple. How you can see it is unverifiable, then it is theological or philosophical knowledge. But is based on the faith, then it can be only theological knowledge, not scientific knowledge. We can't mistake the scientist with the science. It is a common mistake. When Richard Dawkins told about God, either he exists or he doesn't, it is a scientific question. Unfortunately, he is wrong. His opinions aren't scientific knowledge because they aren't verifiable. Every atheist is a believer as an atheist. The atheist believes God does exist. The theist believes God exists. They are in the opposite side of the same belief. It's a truth. Remember, it's time to break paradigms and prejudices. Be bold and carry on. Subscribe our channel now. Share with your friends. Don't forget, click on the bell to receive the notifications of the new videos. Did you like this video? Then click on the like button and share it. I am waiting for you. Remember, it's time to break paradigms and prejudices. Be bold and carry on. See you soon. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.